Hi, my name is Claire Puehler and I'm doing my Sportsman 3 Unit 1 project, Injury Prevention on Chronic Ankle Sprains for Volleyball Players. My athlete, Chloe Giovanetti, has been playing volleyball for more than five years. Chloe has had ankle problems, including frequent sprains, the feeling of her ankles giving out, and feeling unstable. I want to be able to give her that safe feeling when playing volleyball and decrease the risk of Chloe getting injured in the future or worsening her ankles. My objectives for this project are to help Chloe gain ankle stability, balance, and to reduce her pain from previous sprains. I tested Chloe's ankles using varieties of strengthening exercises, balancing exercises, and proprioception exercises. I showed my results through videos and pictures of different test results from the before and after. I created this program to help Chloe and others to use this for their ankle difficulties. I also looked for improvements that I should take when finishing this program for Chloe. Chronic ankle sprains occur when the ligaments in the ankle become repeatedly injured, leading to instability, pain, and reduced function. This results from an initial acute sprain that hasn't fully healed. These chronic injuries can cause ongoing discomfort and difficulty with activities, such as walking or exercising. In this case, it's volleyball for Chloe. Symptoms may include swelling, tenderness, and a feeling of the ankle giving out. Factors such as improper rehabilitation, poor strength, or flexibility can contribute to the reoccurrence of sprains. Treatment typically involves a combination of rest, physical therapy, strengthening exercises, and sometimes bracing to support the ankle during recovery and prevent future injuries. We also included ankle braces for Chloe when playing volleyball. Injury prevention involves proactive strategies designed to reduce the risk of injuries in various settings, from sports to everyday activities. It involves education on safe practices, the use of appropriate equipment and protective equipment, and the implementation of safety protocols. Key elements include awareness of potential hazards, proper training to improve technique, and regular assessments to identify risks. By fostering a culture of safety and encouraging responsible behavior, injury prevention not only protects individuals, but also promotes overall well-being in communities and sports. Why volleyball players? Having ankle stability is very important when running on the court, jumping, blocking, and diving. Ankle mobility helps with weight distribution and force distribution, as well as limited ankle mobility can lead to knee, hip, and or lower back pain. Chloe has struggled with knee, hip, and lower back pain ever since she started playing and never had good support in her shoes, nor did she ever wear braces. My program for Chloe included standing calf stretches, calf raises, single leg balance, inversion and eversion with a band, and BOSU ball stability. For the standing calf stretch, we did 20 seconds on each side twice. For calf raises, we did 15 on each side twice. For single leg balance, we did 30 seconds each side three times. For inversion, eversion with a band, we did 20 each way and each side. And for BOSU ball stability, we did 30 seconds each side three times. As you can see here in this picture, Chloe is balancing on one leg. She is also balancing on the BOSU ball and doing calf stretches. And these videos here, you can see Chloe doing yeah, eversion. In this video, you can see Chloe doing inversion. And then in this video, you can see Chloe doing calf raises. For my special tests, I did timing balance, the stress test, I did single leg side hop. For timing balance, before Chloe was not very stable and very limited to time standing on each leg. Here you can see she's unstable and falls pretty fast. After this program was implemented, Chloe was able to be stabilized and able to stand on each of her legs for a longer period of time, as well as focusing on her core and keeping that balance with her knee straight. My next test was the stress test. Before, Chloe's knees were caving in, as you can tell when she goes down for a pistol squat, showing the instability of her ankles. After this program was implemented, Chloe's knees are a lot straighter and she doesn't lose balance when going down for a pistol squat, showing the stability in her ankles after the program.
My last test was a single leg side hop before Chloe was only able to do 20 to 40 hops in about 10 to 20 seconds. She also had a lot of pain after she was done doing the single legged hops. She had a very slow pace and was very unstable the whole time. After the program, Chloe was able to do 30 to 50 hops on each leg with her knee completely straight. She had very little to minimum pain in her ankle after doing these hops, as well as faster paced hops. Overall, this program has really helped Chloe gain stability in her ankles again with pain-free ankles. Since she plays back row a lot, she is always moving, running, and